Hey you guys, this is Jordan, the host of Alter Element Games, and today, as you can see on the screen here, let's talk about Overwatch's loot box system. Now, I've watched Jim Sterling and Total Biscuit cover this subject in a couple of their videos, and I took both of their opinions as well informative. But I have my own thoughts on the reward system, and thought of some suggestions to fine-tune them. Stay tuned, this is The Rundown. Alright, first of all guys, why do people hate the loot boxes all together in Overwatch even though I kinda like them? The first main problem is the RNG, and bad RNG if I say so myself. People hate RNG altogether. If that was the case then they just wanna buy stuff outright and not this roundabout solution that we get now. The most frustrating thing is always getting three whites and one blue token. You guys know what I mean. Every time you level, you get some sprays and some voice lines. Most of the time you'll receive these common rewards and they're pretty useless if they don't accommodate to the character that you like. For an example, you'll receive a lot of sprays in this game. And when I say a lot of sprays, dude, I mean a lot. And that will be your best friends and some voice lines. And there's some fun looking sprays for each character, but a high majority of the sprays are not really worth it after attaining a new level. So my solution for this particular problem is just to give the customers a chance to buy the rewards outright, like in League if they have the funds available. But if they continue with this loot box system, which I don't mind, me going backwards, I have another suggestion that can complement the current loot box system by being, well, great again. Okay guys, so before I say my solutions to this problem, or my suggestion, let me tell you the overall numbers of legendaries and other great rewards you get in the game. You have 63 emotes and victory poses separately, 68 highlights, 84 legendary skins, and 100 plus common skins and sprays. Now that's a lot of cosmetics, so my solution to add to this already decent loot box system is to add 50 to 75 gold in every loot box plus the four unlocks that you get. Sounds fair, right? By the time you get to my level, which is 70, using the 75 gold plan, you would have 5,250 gold, plus the small amount of skins that you already have. Now, 5,250 gold is not that much, because in reality, that's only five legendaries and 21 highlight intros for you to unlock with your gold. Meanwhile, there's still plenty of more unlocks to look forward to. Well, that's one of the solutions I thought of, but there could be better. But overall, I like the loot box system since all of the characters are already unlocked and the skins are just a bonus. Tell me your thoughts and ideas on this topic and I'll see you dudes next time. My name is Jordan, host of Alter Element Games. See you next time dudes. Peace. Alter Element Games, where gameplay is everything.